Hello students, welcome to Target IES. I hope you are having a wonderful day. Today I am going to discuss the ESC paper 1. Okay, so what is the subject wise weightage in this paper 1 and how you can score maximum marks in this paper without much effort. So, first before going into this video, you should be able to know what is the pattern of ESC. First of all, we will be having three stages. Stage 1 which is prelims. In this, the question paper will be for 500 marks, right? So, again in this prelims, you will be writing two papers, morning shift and afternoon shift. Morning shift will be this general paper which is for 200 marks and afternoon shift will be of your subject. If you belong to civil engineering, there will be a question paper specially designed for civil engineering. If you are mechanical engineer, specially designed for mechanical, electrical and so on. So, here you will be getting 300 for your subject. But this common paper, whatever is there for 200 marks, the morning shift paper, it is common for all the branches who are appearing for ESC. Okay. So, civil wale ko bhi question paper milega, mechanical wale ko bhi ohi question paper milega, kisi aur ko bhi yehi question paper milega. And then, if you clear prelims, you will be entering into mains. Mains is for 600 marks. Okay. Two papers rehenge. So, paper 1 and paper 2, each 300. Okay. These two papers depend, it's completely on your subject skills. Okay. It doesn't have any general aspect. Whatever branch you belong to, if you belong to civil engineering, this 300 marks, this 300 marks, completely civil engineering ka hi rahega. If you clear means, then you will be called for interview, personality test and this is for 200 marks. At total, how many marks you are getting? 500 plus 600 plus 200, that is for 1300 marks. Okay. So, before going into in-depth subject wise analysis, let me make it clear. Kitne marks chahiye? out of this 1300 to clear ESC. If you want to be finally selected, out of this 1300 general category people should get more than 800 marks for this 1300. This should be kept in So general selection is in between 810 to 830. This is cut off. This is not the topper's mark. If you want to be a topper, you should get much above 800. Okay. Target is 950 to 1000. Then you will get somewhere around 850 to 900, which will be toppers marks. And then EWS category, we have around 760 to 780 out of this 1300 marks. For OBC also same range, 760 to 780. SC 700 to 740 and ST also almost same category, 700 to 740 marks ke zone mein aayenge. Okay, so this is how many marks you have to score out of 1300 to clear ASC. Okay, again branch wise, this will be varying. Generally, this is for civil engineering because most number of vacancies will be in civil engineering, right? That's why I have taken it as a benchmark. Some departments, it might be even 20 to 30 marks higher. In some departments, it could be 20 to 30 marks lower. But keep in mind, if you belong to general category, you have to score more than 850 to be on a safe side. Okay, whatever branch you belong to, if you are scoring more than 850, aapka selection ho jayega. If you belong to SC and ST category, man ke chaliye 770. So if you are scoring more than 870, it will be, you will be definitely able to clear this examination. Now coming to the prelims. See first to go to the level of final selection, first you have to clear the prelims, right? Prelims hoga, mains hoga and then uh, interview hoga. So to clear this prelims, prelims paper is for 500 marks, right? 200 is for common paper and 300 is for your subject intelligence. So out of this 500 marks, 200 plus 300, 500 marks, generally, if you belong to a general category or you are category, you should be scoring more than 250. Okay, 50% is not 250 out of 500 is 50% only, right? So, if you are scoring more than 50% of the marks, then you can easily clear this prelims. For AWS, little bit less than that, 10 to 20 marks come right in general category. Se. Same for OBC. AWS and OBC all in almost same zone. Same marks are there. And SC and ST, 200 to 230 marks will be considered as a safe zone. Sometimes, if the paper is easy, ek 10-15 marks zyada cut off bhi ho sakta hai. Okay, when you are writing the exam, you can automatically feel if the paper, question paper is easy, this cut off can be increased by another 10 to 15 marks, not more than that. In no case, the general cut off will be more than 265 or 270. It is not possible. So, generally, 50% if you are scoring, you will definitely clear prelims. But, what happens? Border zone marks. 
टू गेट अ गुड स्कोर प्लीज टारगेट अराउंड थ्री हंड्रेड थ्री फिफ्टी ओके थ्री फिफ्टी आउट ऑफ फाइव फाइंड इट लाइक दैट सो दैट यू कैन बी एट द टॉप ऑफ द लिस्ट एंड यू विल बी गेटिंग एन एडवांटेज इन स्कोरिंग मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ मार्क्स एंड इजिली गेटिंग मोर देन एट हंड्रेड और एट फिफ्टी आउट ऑफ योर थर्टीन हंड्रेड मार्क्स आई होप इट इज वेरी क्लियर बट इफ यू आर सींग दिस कट ऑफ डोंट गेट वेरी बिफोर लाइक टू थ्री इयर्स बिफोर जनरल के लिए कट ऑफ था हार्डली टू हंड्रेड टू टू टेन इफ यू आर स्कोरिंग इवन फोर्टी परसेंट मार्क्स राइट इफ यू आर स्कोरिंग फोर्टी परसेंट मार्क्स मोर देन फोर्टी परसेंट मार्क्स यू विल बी क्लियरिंग यूर प्रिलिम्स एंड यू विल बी राइटिंग यूर मेन्स बट नाउ इट इज मोर देन फिफ्टी परसेंट मार्क्स वाई वाई दिस हैपन बिकॉज प्रीवियसली रेलवे डिपार्टमेंट वॉज ऑल्सो इन ई एस सी सो वॉट हैपन द नंबर ऑफ वेकेंसीज वर मोर नाउ द नंबर ऑफ वेकेंसीज आर लेस तो ऑब्वियसली कॉम्पिटिशन बढ़ गया so what is happening your cut off has gone up but no need to worry even if the cut off has gone up dekhiye kitna simple si baat hai all you have to get is more than 50% in your prelims to clear it okay in that 50% also you can easily score lot of marks from this common paper how let us try to understand let us see the subject wise weightage there will be 10 subjects in your paper one okay common for everyone so you can see the syllabus paper if you don't have the syllabus sheet what you have to do open if you are a target age student open your books link theek hai books link mein jaiye there is a folder called as syllabus gate ese so you can just click on ese syllabus and pattern and you will be getting a pdf in which you will be getting the exam pattern as well as the syllabus okay syllabus kya hai subject wise what your department you belong to you can check the syllabus as well as pattern from here now coming back to the subject wise weightage you can see the first subject is of current issues current affairs in simple language okay so current affairs ka weightage hamesha se high raha hai you can see it is quite high it has been asked 17 questions also out of 100 questions in 2021 17 questions came only from current affairs but the problem here is current affairs is quite difficult concept to crack because kya hota hai wo dynamic hota hai it changes every day but except this whatever is there right whatever is there it is almost static thode concepts hai like icd information communication and technologies because as you know every year the technology is getting advanced okay wifi kya ho raha hai advanced ho raha hai cell phones kya ho raha hai advanced ho rahe 3g 4g 5g mein ja rahe hai who knows maybe in 2 3 years again wo bolenge 6g so what is happening technology is evolving so this is also a bit dynamic ओके एंड एनर्जी एंड एनवायरमेंट थोड़ा डेटा बदल सकता है इट इज आल्सो बिट डायनामिक बट 99 परसेंट इट इज स्टैटिक स्टैटिक यानी इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू चेंज ओवर द टाइम मच इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू चेंज मच ओवर द टाइम सो व्हाट इज हैपनिंग एक्सेप्ट दिस करंट इश्यूज व्हिच इज अ डायनामिक कॉन्सेप्ट एंड दिस आईसीटी व्हिच इज आल्सो अ डायनामिक कॉन्सेप्ट रिमेनिंग ऑल इज स्टैटिक it is never going to change and what you have to do is you have to study the minimal things and you will be getting maximum marks so i don't suggest you to directly jump into current affairs because current affairs kya hota hai it is a ocean jitna bhi pad lo aur bhi zyada current affairs aayenge so it is not the right way to study current affairs maximum what you have to do is you have to watch weekly videos or monthly videos even target ies is uploading monthly videos right just watch it i am not saying all 15 questions will come even if 7 8 questions come and with your common sense you can obviously solve two more questions so if you are able to answer 10 questions out of 15 it is more than enough okay i don't want 100% accuracy in current affairs aap ias ke liye taiyari nahi kar rahe ho esc ke liye taiyar kar rahe ho if you are wasting more than 2 hours per month this will be useless okay hum minimal rakhenge sirf video padhenge supporting text dekhenge exam likhenge agar usme se question aate hai to badhiya nahi aate hai to hamara bad luck but if you are wasting time then your chances of getting selection will be less because you will be concentrating less on the next subjects so your marks will decrease so concentrate less on current affairs even though the weightage is more if you want uh, this weightage sheet you can just take a screenshot right ha you can take a screenshot and keep with you and analyze okay so you can prioritize the subjects based on this and one more important thing dekhiye last 2 years last 2 years forget about this last 2 years the whatever weightage is there right it is almost getting constant what are the subject which is giving you maximum number of marks 
first three subjects one is current issues second one is engineering aptitude and engineering mathematics engineering aptitude and mathematics are common subjects for your gate and esc to main keh raha hu don't prepare specially for esc jo gate ka knowledge hai usi se aap aasani se la le sakte ho 30 marks 30 questions right 30 questions is 60 marks okay out of 100 questions 30 questions you can solve just by your gate knowledge and the questions here will be much easier compared to what it will be asked in your gate examinations max kaun sa easy rehta hai esc wala ya gate wala obviously esc wala easy rehta hai gate wala thoda mushkil rehta hai so these questions will be ladu type and you can score marks here so make sure that you are practicing aptitude and mathematics quite well so that you will be scoring maximum here ये जो 30 क्वेश्चन है ना इसमें से मेक श्योर दट यू स्कोर एटलीस्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव करेक्ट क्वेश्चन विच इज वेरी मच पॉसिबल इफ यूर वर्किंग हार्ड एंड देन देर आर टू मोर सब्जेक्ट विच आर क्वाइट लड्डू टाइप क्वेश्चन लड्डू टाइप सब्जेक्ट वन इज एनवायरमेंट सेकेंड वन इज प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट जो एनवायरमेंट सब्जेक्ट आपने आपने इंजीनियरिंग में पढ़ा है मोर देन एन एफ है छोटे छोटे बुक्स मिलेंगे एनर्जी एंड एनवायरमेंट के इवन यू कैन रीड टारगेट मटेरियल मोर देन एनफ यू विल बी एबल टू आंसर मोस्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चंस एंड बेसिक्स ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट इट इज 99 परसेंट सीपीएम एंड वट एवर यू हैव लर्न राइट सो दिस बेसिक्स ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट एंड एनर्जी एंड एनवायरमेंट इफ यू बिलोंग टू सिविल इंजीनियरिंग राइट इट इज ऑलरेडी कवर टू यू and this cpm part it is available not only in civil engineering as well as other engineering branches also so you can score maximum marks a two subject bhi aapke cover hai okay if you have completed your engineering done some gate coaching then four subjects of you are cover and you can score almost almost 100 marks from these four subjects 200 mein 100 marks aapke cover ho chuke hai even before starting your esc special preparation okay and if you belong to uh, this mechanical engineering you will be having a subject called as material science wahi rahega isme even if you don't belong to mechanical engineering whatever you have learnt in your plus 11 uh, plus 1 plus 2 wo jo intermediate stage rehta hai na wahi questions yahan pe aate hain maximum 90% of the concept what is the ionic bond chemical bond and uh, uh, lattices all these things you know very well okay magnetism all these things you know somewhere If you brush up, you will be able to answer this. Okay, so ये question, ये subject भी लड्डू type subject है. Previously, it was given for very high weightage, twenty three questions out of hundred twenty three questions. यानी जो जो ये subject जानता है, जो जो basic chemistry जानता है, he can score almost one fourth, पचास mark एक ही एक subject से निकाल सकता था in year two thousand eighteen or seventeen if I am not wrong. But now the weightage is very less. Six to seven questions come every year, but if you know chemistry, this is a ladu type subject for you. No need to worry at all. Okay, so we have covered most of the subjects which are quite easy and which have high weightage. Now let us talk about some more subjects. The first subject I am going to talk is drawing. ठीक है? So drawing का weightage आप देख लेना. So it comes, it has not much weightage. It comes around seven to ten marks. उससे ज़्यादा आप expect नहीं कर सकते हो. The very first year in 2017 we had a very high weightage. 16 questions came, but afterwards the weightage got reduced drastically. Because drawing and design, it is very hard to frame questions. Even if they frame questions, it is very easy to answer, right? So आप देख लेना एक बार design drawing. यूट्यूब में बहुत सारे वीडियोस मिल जाएंगे प्लेलिस्ट मिल जाएंगे एक बार देख लेना यू विल बी एबल टू आंसर मोस्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम दिस पार्ट आल्सो स्टैंडर्ड्स क्वालिटी प्रैक्टिस इन प्रोडक्शन कंस्ट्रक्शन मेंटेनेंस एंड सर्विसेज दिस इज क्वाइट डिफिकल्ट टॉपिक द क्वेश्चन कैन बी ट्रिकी एंड द कॉन्सेप्ट विल बी न्यू फॉर यू मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल दिस सब्जेक्ट इज क्वाइट न्यू एंड यू हैव टू कॉन्सेंट्रेट अ बिट ऑन दिस सब्जेक्ट ज्यादा निकालने की जरूरत नहीं है टाइम इफ यू आर रीडिंग एटलीस्ट वन आवर per day for 4 months you can easily cover all the subjects for esc esc notification aane ke baad bhi shuru kar sakte ho no problem you can get maximum marks but before uh, let me make it very clear before esc notification comes at least be prepared in these two subjects okay ये दो सब्जेक्ट में से आपको आ जाएंगे 30 क्वेश्चन 60 मार्क्स सो यू शुड बी परफेक्ट इवन बिफोर नोटिफिकेशन कम्स आफ्टर नोटिफिकेशन कम्स यू कैन गो थ्रू दिस following eight subjects and you can easily give your examination there is two more subjects which you have to talk about one is ict i have given you brief introduction right about that that this is a dynamic part 
सो ऑब्वियसली पुराने नोट्स उठा के आप नहीं पढ़ सकते हो एवरी ईयर दिस इज गोइंग टू चेंज अ बिट नॉट कंप्लीटली अ बिट अ न्यू बिट विल बी एडेड एंड मोस्ट प्रोबेबली क्वेश्चन विल बी कमिंग फ्रॉम दैट न्यू बिट ओनली ठीक है बिकॉज इन दिस लेटर इज ऑल्सो इंटरेस्टेड टू चेक वॉट इज हिज लेटेस्ट नॉलेज अबाउट दिस कॉन्सेप्ट राइट तो आपको क्या करना पड़ेगा करेंट अफेयर्स वॉट एवर करेंट अफेयर्स बुक यू आर रीडिंग और वीडियोज यू आर रीडिंग उसमें आईसीटी का पार्ट स्किप मत कीजिएगा ओके सो द मैगजाइंस मंथली मैगजाइंस आर इयरली बुक्स वॉट एवर यू आर हैविंग अबाउट करेंट अफेयर्स गो थ्रू दिस आईसीटी पार्ट क्लियरली एंड फ्रॉम देर यू कैन स्कोर मैक्सिमम अमाउंट ऑफ यूर मार्क्स ओके सो एवरी ईयर अगेन यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट टेन टू इलेवन क्वेश्चन कम फ्रॉम दिस आईसीटी पार्ट एंड फाइनली एथिक्स and values in engineering profession this doesn't require special study at all you know what are the ethics to be followed for a good human being right wahi answer rahega but here the ter- here there is only one difficulty which is terminology terminology so the questions the words which they might be using you are you will be unable to understand but if you know the meaning of that word right you can easily answer it so just to understand this terminology see this is the subject which has to be written from heart just to understand the terminology 10 se 20 page ka aapko book padhna chahiye once you read it more than enough if you understand the terminology right what is the term used to describe a specific thing then you can answer this question very easily so target is ka jo bhi material hai regarding ethics it is more than enough so after reading it you will be able to answer most of the questions so let me make it very clear let me summarize what are the subjects you should never miss engineering aptitude plus engineering mathematics plus energy and environment energy and environment plus your project management so these are four very simple subjects which you know from your engineering itself so if you brush it a bit you can easily score 100 marks just from these four subjects out of your 200 which will be considered as a very good marks so remaining whatever subjects marks are coming right it is a add on if you are getting more than 100 marks i will consider it as a very good score and you can easily clear your prelims because prelims ke liye kitne marks chahiye even if you are belonging to general category you need more than 250 marks that's it so if you are getting 100 from here obviously civil ka paper hai laddu type questions rahenge you are mechanical ka paper hai laddu type questions rahenge ye hi questions no need of calculator nothing so you can easily score 150 plus out of 300 from this paper and your total will be more than 250 and you will be clearing prelims and then you will be writing mains and during uh, once the prelims examination is completed i will talk about mains and what is the subject wise importance for mains the next video will be on what is the weightage for civil engineering students subject wise for esc have a nice day subscribe to our channel target ies if you have any doubts you can post your comments in comment section i will definitely try to answer them have a nice day see you in our next video